Hey up everybody, it's Johnny P the Painted Coach. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. I want to talk about universal laws. These laws that are in effect that are around us that maybe we're not conscious of, but over time they can accumulate to big things, big consequences, if we're not really understanding how these laws apply to us. And this law is the law of diminishing intent. Intent, intention, great words again. How many times are we inspired to do something? We watch a video, we meet somebody and they inspire us. And we have this great intention in that moment to do something about it, to act. But then over time, it starts to diminish. I can think of my own circumstances where I've watched something or I've met somebody and I've had great intention, my energy's up, my emotion's up and I go, yeah, I'm going to do that. And then all these distractions happen. And then all of a sudden this clock starts to tick and my intention was running at 100% has now clicked down to 80%. And then I get distracted again and life gets in the way and it comes at us and then it drops down to 40%. And then over time, it's, it's diminished. It's, it's, you know, the great intention was there, but then it resulted into nothing. And how many times, if you really start to think about it, that you had great intention, oh, you know, to get fit, to give up smoking, to cut down drinking, you know, to be more confident. I want to be intentional to have more confident. And it, you know, it slowly slips down. Watch this law. It's, it's so, so important to understand that when you have intention, that's great but it will start to diminish over time and time just eats it up. And before you know it, you'd look up in a month and you've done nothing about it. I've always said around activity, our activity has to be more than our intention or at least match it. So once you've got this intention for whatever it may be, you've then got to start to think, actually, how do I then put this into action? How do I make this into an activity? And strike why the emotions are high when you're really motivated to do it, because that motivation will diminish. So you've got to start thinking, how do I apply this into activity and how can it be more than my intention? So next time you feel like, yeah, I've got great intention to do something in the day, act, take movement. Just move, I call it. Physically move, do something, or just write a plan out, write a list out, take some action, really make a commitment to it. That intention is important to you. An intention is a promise. That's the way I look at it, is a promise that you make to yourself. I am going to promise to do this. And then you've got to take some action around it. So move. Move physically, write a plan, write a list, write a commitment statement, an intention statement. What's my intention this week? What is it I want to do? What is it I want to be? And then, what's the job to be done? That's a great question I ask myself quite a lot. What's the job to be done today? What's the job to be done this week? What's the job to be done this month, this year? And really put that ownership. I, to, to provoke this change, I love this word provoke, provoke yourself to change, to take action before this law starts to kick in and it will kick in, the law of diminishing intent, just start to think about it, how many times have I had great intention, 1st of January, great intention, oh I'm going to give up this, I'm going to get healthier, I'm going to do this and then over time you look up and you go, oh where did it go, it just disappeared. So I hope by introducing this law, it gets you thinking, what is it that you really want to do? What's your intention? Even just tomorrow, ask yourself, what's my intention tomorrow? So what am I then going to do? What, what's the action? What am I going to provoke in myself to, to change, to make sure that I'm inspired to an intention to move and, and really go for those things that I really want? So again, thank you so much for your time for watching this video. Please take great care of yourselves. I hope this helps in some ways and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.